Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today we are off ground hopping. We are off to see Salford City against Stockport County in the Skybet League 2 playoffs first leg. Salford finished 7th due to a result on the last day of the season where they lost out to Gillingham. Stockport missed out on automatic promotion with a 1-1 draw against Hartlepool. Former Fleetwood man Callum Camp scoring on the day. Stockport's first season back into League 2 after winning the National League last year in great style as well. They were brilliant. They beat Wrexham to it. Wrexham now into the Football League um, this year as well. But Stockport County are a great you know, a great club. They'll be back by you know, five to 600 supporters today, which is a sellout. They were queuing up from three to 4 a.m. in the morning for him. Salford should be back to as well. They're a smaller club backed by um, Net Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Ryan Giggs, David Beckham and co. Um, you know, the class of the 92. They've done well there to get them into the Football League. Stuck in League Two for a while. It's going to be interesting. We are going to watch Alex Cairns play as well, who he was a Fleetwood legend. He made me kind of fall back in love with football again and fall in love with Fleetwood. He's a club legend, so I can't wait to see him. But let's get down to Morley. Lovely ground down there, lovely setup. He's a smaller ground, but the playoffs are the best time of year, and I can't wait for it. So I'm in the ground now, nice and early, an hour before kickoff. Again, so many players play for both clubs that have played for Fleetwood. Paddy Madden, who isn't in the side, you know, out, you know, with an injury. What, you know, he gave me great memories, so I'm always supporting him. Kenzie and goal for Salford. He, he just, you know, one of the best men you'll ever meet in football and a top goalkeeper, a top pro, you know, Callum Cams, Ryan Rydell, um, you know, Aki Wright, you didn't really get a game time at Fleetwood, but so many you can kind of you know slip off your tongue, Callum, Callum Morton as well, who played Fleetwood earlier in this season, uh, Conor McElhenney, I think you know I've just mentioned seven there, so it's kind of very you know, heavily linked to Fleetwood. But it's a nice ground for the level, you know, it's you know, stop what I've been shoved in a corner. Look, they should have been given a lot more, they should have been given at least a thousand. Uh, tickets really, it's kind of you know, a sporting advantage. We saw it with Wickham, you know, 12 months ago, where they were shoved 2,000 of them, a thousand in you know, one corner, a thousand in another. If it helps Salford get a win tonight, then it's job well done. And Gary Neville and Co can you know, can go without revenue of five with the Stockport fans. I miss that man, I miss him. Great atmosphere here again. You know, Salford Stockport is a derby. You know, they're only you know, what, 10 miles from each other. Stockport have sold out. Pathetic, they cut their allocation, but 600 of them in fine voice. Oh, what a start to this day. Salford have a really good couple of chances in the corner. Good take from the goalkeeper there. Every time the aim of, of Salford plays to get the ball forward, run forward, play forward, and get the ball into the target man, Matt Smith, who was lethal at this level. What a save! That's what that man does. A big save in a big moment in the playoff game, first like Superb save, Mr. Cairns. I was just mentioning that Salford played a real high line and kind of easy to get in the back of, and they did that quite easily. Should have scored, really, but a great save from the goalkeeper. One nil sold for the ball into the box again. Dangerous, great header. Owens one nil to the home side. Crucially, you get off to a good start at home, especially in the first leg. One nil. Salford have been the better team so far. They've had two or three really good chances. You know, set pieces, getting balled into the box, and you know, really testing that goalkeeper as well. 
Stockport look good on the counter type. They look like they've got options. You know, you'd expect that from a team that got what 79 points and finished fourth on the final day. But you know, Salford look like they're passing the ball with confidence, with style. They've got an identity. They've got a plan. They're good going forward. They've got something to hit. So that's the difference. The one they'll open probably should be a couple more really. Again, a great first half for Salford, 1 0 up. I still think they need a second going to Edgley Park, but 1 0 is a very good result at half time. Need a second to feel comfortable. Stop offering very little at the minute, right? Every time they come forward, there's no real sting in the play. The fans have been terrific, though. Honestly, one of the best fans in the division, if not the EFL. Yes, get in. The game's got a, a bit of a lull at the minute there. You know, they're pressing well, they're getting the ball forward in numbers. It's just started to twig a little bit with them. Start to take the ball forward a little bit more, get the ball out wide, get it across into the box. The atmosphere is lifted from both sets of supporters, both sets of supporters. Next week should be behind the goal. one nil is a very good result to take to Edgley Park. Is it enough? I don't think so. But 2-0 will be perfect. But 1-1, one, one, totally different game. Next 15, 20 minutes are vital. Succession of calling for the home side, they're getting the ball into the box, asking questions, looking to get it on. You know, Matty Smith hurts, he looks knackered. Options on the bench for Salford, Louis Barry, you know, Callum Morton, you know, there's options there. Game feels like stop what I'm going to score, if I'm honest with you. Salford need to make, make a sub, they look a little bit dead out there, look a little bit. There's no real kind of spark in the play, stop what haven't you been great, but again, they're looking at Brighton, they made the sub, and you can kind of see their energy levels have gone up. Need to make something, we've got 10 15 minutes to go, yeah? It's not quite a good side, but there's no real threat there. To be honest with you, they're having set pieces like that. Nothing really happening. Solver pretty stern. They've not really offered much. It's been a flat game where the first half was okay, but nothing really happening other than that. One nil, decent, decent enough. The crowd being roared on now. And stop put again. Five six hundred behind that goal. Move a few moments. So I've got to hold on. Got to keep a clean sheet. One nil at Edgy Park gives them a good advantage. Not a massive one, but a good one. Nearly in added time now, nearly done. The game is almost done and job one is almost done. It's still a long, long way to go at Edgley Park. Believe me, nine minutes of torture. Especially, you know, when no, stop you know, attacking that tea line, it's going to be a tough afternoon. Thanks for watching.